Okay, in this lesson, I want to explain how to navigate in 3D viewing uh, SimLab Composer and some of these tools to changing the views. First, you have to go into the file. As you can see, there are menus here. It's the file. If you go, <clears throat> if you moving your mouse over of them, the uh, beautiful menus with the names will be appear. When you click on this menu, the file menu will be open. I explain them all of them in detail. Don't worry. Here in the control and new scene, you can create a new scene. If you create a new scene, the welcome screen will be appear. From here, you can open any environment. Uh, there are actually four uh, rendering if you want. For example, this museum or any uh, another. If this icon is here, lots in it. Uh, it's also in <clears throat> library. It means you have to download it first. I will be explaining the library more. Here, going back, you can open in scene. If you uh, have saved any your pro any project in your PC, you can call it from here, or you can create empty scene. We have a lots of time here in the, the recent files. <clears throat> you can access your recent file that you use your working. I'm working on this. I will be open that. Here it help if you want to more tutorial academy or anything. The license, the news, and the, about the software. In the recent files, you can double click on your recent file and open it. I prepared this scene for you. What is this scene? It's in a library in a 3D model. Scroll down in a composer scenes. This is in Lingling Rome 2. You can click and drag it. You can download if you want. For example, this Colossus, all of them, we have to download them. You can simply click here, download the contents. All of the contents in this category will be downloaded for you. We are going uh, through this library. It's interesting. I will explain them. This task material animation sequence in detail. <clears throat> okay, for navigation, uh, in this software, you can click and drag left click and drag to navigation around as you can see is automatically uh, around the center of the board of the software if you want to rotate around a specific uh, object you have to click on that and here the first tool you learn it's zoom to object zoom to select it Control j if you select that and now you can rotate around that object if you want for zooming out and in, you can use a scroll your mouse, uh, zoom wherever your mouse is. For example, if you want to zoom in this per part, going almost over that part and scrolling up. Your, you can use your right click to the up and down to uh, zoom smoothly if you want. <clears throat> so it depends where is your mouse is and it's going to that. And for panning, you can hold in your middle mouse button to pan your object if you want. We have a box here. You can click and drag on it to change the rotation. If you want, you can click on this to um, go into the right view or go into the front view. As you can see, we have an uh, axis here. This is the axis in the blue X axis is red and the y-axis is green it is uh, I think a different from other 3d software for example in Cinema 43 max Maya the y-axis is in this direction but this is up axis in this software up axis in 3d software is z-axis <clears throat> okay uh, this is a navigation it's a simple navigation in this software if you zoom in this software, if you want fit to all, you can use this. Fit all. It's fit all the objects in scene. <clears throat> and views. This is the first view here. You can hold in your mouse to open this um, submenu here. And this is a fixed view. This is a fixed view. In file preferences, I will explain all of them. But here, fixed view size, you can change any size <clears throat> that you want save it uh, going to the uh, click again to change this fixed view as you can see this is an, like an image that uh, everything happened in this fixed view 
The default view is one view. I like it more. Like other software, uh, like other software, it, it has, you can one view, two view, four view, for example, two view horizontally, and you can change any of this view that you want. For example, you can change it in the right, change it in the left, as you can. Or you can change it to the four view and change the view of that. For example, if you want to this view to the right, you can right click. I will explain them more. Going to the view, standard view, and make it top. Right click anywhere in a scene, it's not important to the, for example, front. Okay, going to the one view. <clears throat> Another thing that I want to tell you it's about perspective. For example, going to the right, this is a perspective. As you can see, the object near the camera is bigger than the object that far from the camera. This is a real perspective. Here in this button, we can toggle between parallel and perspective. The parallel is everything is parallel. As you can see, for example, this wall, you can see exactly uh, in a parallel direction of that wall. For example, we are, as you can see, this is a parallel mode or perspective. It's a real 3D perspective or parallel. For example, from the top, you can exactly change the position of, for example, this object depend on that object but if you turn it to the perspective as you can see we have a perspective angle here and you cannot define very well if you want so it's very important to use it's exactly look at at the above that everything is parallel it's very useful to <clears throat> some scene building so you learn this uh, fit zoom to object parallel and the fit all and the views and this is <clears throat> if you want to activate an x-ray view you can select an x-ray view you can uh, see the object through each other it's very useful in some conditions you can see the edge only if you import some models for example in this default model we have just these edges but if you insert your model in fx obj it shows all edge that you import Solid illustration, it looks like this, it's um, shaded and uh, see you can see also the edges if you want. But solid view, it's hide the edges and the interesting view is F4. You can simply real time render. <clears throat> this render of this software is very interesting, it's very simple powerful high quality render real-time render you can move and it's also rendering for you it's a real-time render it's very interesting you can go to gallery of this software to it's uh, simlabsoft.com and you can see the beautiful render from this software but this thing is very simple uh, okay and hit f4 to uh, cancel the render okay that's it hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release